Today I'm going to show you if staying in downtown Las Vegas is worth it. If you've ever come to this place, you might have seen that this is a completely different world than the Las Vegas Strip, so it does have both its good and its bad sides. So I'm going to show you what you should look forward to and what to watch out for. Plus at times, there's events over on the Strip where everything gets packed, so it might make you want to stay over on this side. I'm talking to you, Formula One. I know I'm being a little over dramatic right now, but it got way colder in these past few days. So first things first is, how the heck do you even get down here? The distance from downtown Las Vegas to the middle of the strip is about four miles, so it's something that you definitely cannot walk. So besides taxis and Ubers, you could definitely take the Deuce bus, which drops off right on Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street, or their other downtown stops as well. It does run 24 seven, and tickets start at $4 for a single ride and goes up for longer periods of time. You can also take the downtown loop, which is free, and that's gonna take you all over the downtown area and the Arts District. So now that you finally got here, we have to start right here in the center of it all. So when you think about downtown Las Vegas or Fremont Street or whatever you want to call it, you're probably thinking about this thing right here. This right here is called Viva Vision, which is something that you definitely want to look forward to. This is located inside of the Fremont Street Experience and it was created back in 1995, which before this used to be an open roadway where cars used to be able to drive right through. Comment below if you remember those times. I definitely remember those times. Viva Vision itself is turned on 24-7. However, though, if you want to catch their shows, those are every day from 6 p.m. till 1 a.m. on the top of the hour, and they last about six to seven minutes. They always have some of the biggest musical acts on the big screen, and most importantly, it's free. And while we're on the subject, something else that you can do to elevate your Viva Vision experience is the flight straight through it. Fremont Street has their very own zipline and they have two different flying options. The first zipline that they offer is seated and that way you're going to be flying seven stories high for about two blocks. That's definitely something that's more for beginners. And my favorite one is the Superhero Zoom, which you're going to fly 11 stories high for about five blocks, superhero style. Tickets start at $49 and $69. Now while you're down here, you're going to be catching some free performances both on the stage and off the stage. The Fremont Street stages always have some sort of entertainment, whether if they're DJs, live bands, or dancers. And always keep your eye out on their calendar because sometimes they have some really big artists performing. And now with that said, you can also end up seeing some performances off the stage. For that, I'm referring to the street performers. They're pretty much out at about any time of the day and you'll be seeing anything from magicians, singers, dancers, characters, and some not so appropriate ones. If you thought the ones over on the strip were pretty scandalous, then brace yourself because the ones over here in downtown are so much more wild and they definitely push the limits. Which is the next subject. Are you allowed to bring the kids? Should I bring the kids? Of course, it is up to every parent's discretion, but just be aware that this place can get pretty crowded at night, so it might feel a bit chaotic for your little one. And circling back to street performers, there's going to be a lot of bare skin out in these streets, so your kids are going to get a glimpse of that. However, not too long ago, they did implement a curfew for unaccompanied children under the age of 18 between the hours of 9 p.m. and 5 a.m. on Fridays and Saturdays. Another reason why people feel uncomfortable bringing the kids out here is because the energy is just a lot crazier out here from what I've noticed. And it seems like people get a bit more intoxicated out here than on the strip. So something else to think about. So now that we have a bit of information of everything underneath the canopy, I think it's time we choose somewhere to stay. You have a good amount of hotels and casinos to choose from at any price point from cheap to more expensive stays. And ranging from the oldest hotel to the newest hotel. I think it's actually really cool how the oldest hotel and the newest hotel are literally just a few couple hundred feet away from each other. The Golden Gate opened in 1906 and Circa opened in 2020, which is well over 100 years apart. I did do a 24 hour video all about Circa last year and there is just so much to do there. It's definitely one of the best places to watch sports, both in the sports book and in the stadium swim. They each have some of the biggest screens I've ever seen and you can watch multiple games at once. And they also have some really nice dining venues and one of my favorite rooftop lounges in the city. Plus, this is the only 21 and over hotel in downtown Las Vegas, so get your ID ready. But there's another place I wanna show you guys that you can stay at. So the Grand is right there, and then Fremont is literally right there. How close is that? 
Now you can definitely stay at one of those hotels and be right in the action. However though, if you do end up getting a room that is facing inside of the Fremont Street experience, it might be a little bit noisy. Or you can literally just walk a block over and stay at a much more chill place, like here at the Downtown Grand. So the Downtown Grand did just celebrate their 10 year anniversary and I don't know if you guys remember what hotel was here, but this used to be the Lady Look. I remember they had some really good crab legs there. But now it's a much more modern resort. It has a really amazing pool and they do also have a lot of cheap specials that I'm gonna show you. However though, I kinda wanna show you the rooms first. I'm gonna show you some really cool rooms. So of course, every hotel is gonna have their standard rooms. However though, I wanted to specifically show you these Gallery Tower Deluxe rooms. However though, this is their augmented reality room. And let me show you why. So you're gonna see this QR code right here. So simply just pick up your phone and scan that QR code and it's gonna have you download the Trans Migrations app. Once it's downloaded, just pick up your phone and point it towards the window and all the images and just look what happens. <gasps> no. That's insane. <laughs> that is amazing. Oh my God, <laughs> look at those hands. <laughs> Guys, this is truly a whole new world. Wow. You can just be here for forever, just playing with this. <laughs> This is so cool, this is like literal art, guys. This is cool, you gotta check this one out. Now I wanna take you to a suite. Whoa, look at this one. Oh, this one's so nice. Like, I really do love the decor in here. So this is our gallery plush penthouse suite, which is only located on the eighth floor, and it has two separate bedrooms, plus a whole living room, kitchen area, and a dining room. And did you see these views? You can see so much of downtown from up here. You have a really nice living room in here that can sit tons of people. And they even have a microwave. Yeah, these are uh, definitely rare nowadays. And of course you get free coffee and waters. Now this is why I hate to call it Old Vegas because I mean, nothing about this is old at all. You know what's funny is that these rooms and suites are so nice that sometimes I don't even wanna go outside. I just wanna relax, be in my suite and just like open up a bottle of wine or something. Now yes, I could just go to one of those mini marts over on Fremont Street, but the selection is so limited. So instead, I brought one that I know I'm gonna like. So believe it or not, this was actually sent to my house after I took a quick online quiz with Bright Sellers. So Bright Sellers is a wine club for real people and they'll help you determine what you like. That way you don't have to go through that big scary wine aisle. Okay, we're gonna taste this nice white. Mm, whoa. Ooh, yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and every wine that you order is gonna come along with this little card and it's gonna tell you so many details like where it's from or what dishes you could pair it with. It's great if you're new to wine or if you're a connoisseur like I like to think that I am. You guys know that I love wine. You've seen me choose it time and time again throughout my videos. So when I saw this arrive to my house, I was literally the happiest girl ever. And guys too, it's nice to see a guy drink wine. And now that I have all these wines, I could take it to so many gatherings, so many parties, or I can even throw my own blind wine tasting party. Dang, I'm gonna need a lot more wine. So right now, Bright Sellers is giving my followers their first six bottle subscription box, which is usually $150, for just $55. Just click the link in the description to take the quiz and get started today. Cheers. What's cool about the Downtown Grand is that you can get free parking if you eat at one of their establishments or if you get 25 base points when gambling or even if you're staying here. So one of the great things about staying downtown is that it is cheaper compared to the Strip. Now if you want to get some cheap eats, you can actually start right here at the Downtown Grand. And I see lunch calling my name. So you can get a PBR and a hot dog all for $2. I learned my lesson the first time, so let's zip up so I don't get hot dog all, all over me. Okay. Oh no. I got mustard on my shirt. Well, crap. It's a really nice looking hot dog too. Just put the standard ketchup, mustard, and sauerkraut. I don't even know if I like sauerkraut, but we'll try it for the video. I like it. So if you do want to get your $2 hot dog and beer, you just have to come over here to the main floor and they are only open from 11 a.m. till 7 p.m. So make sure you get an early dinner in and PBR to wash it down. So remember I put my, uh, so remember I put my sweater up? Um, this is why. I can't. Good thing I learned my lesson. <laughs> and then once you're all filled up, uh, come here to the furnace and get the Joe special. 
for $3.50. So with the Joe Special, you are gonna be getting one shot of whiskey and then a 12 ounce pour of PBR. And this is a 24 hour special, so it doesn't matter if you're ready to party in the morning or at night, just make sure you come here to the furnace. You guys know I gotta taste test the whiskey for y'all. Oh yeah, that's whiskey. And you know what? I don't hate PBR, so cheers. <laughs> oh, that's good, dang. Can you believe how cheap this is? Bottoms up. Just kidding, I'm working here. Dude, they definitely remodeled here at the Fremont. So yes, we're right here inside of the Fremont Hotel at Lanai Express where they're known for the shrimp cocktail. And it's not too bad, it definitely fulfills your shrimp cravings. Another place is Aloha Specialties inside of the California Hotel and they always have huge lines. You can get full on meals for under $9 or even get a Spam Asuvia for about $3. And then again, here at the Fremont Hotel, they have Tony Roma's and they have two really good deals. They have a steak and lobster special that is available every day from 9 p.m. till 11 p.m., which didn't taste too bad for the price. We thoroughly enjoyed it. And then they have a primer special every day from 4.30 till 6.30 p.m., and that's gonna be for $8.99. And then once you're finally ready to finish off with the nightcap, you can just head on over to the Filament Bar here at Fremont Hotel for their $3 Heinekens. However, though, there's another lounge here in downtown that I think is worth checking out. So this is one of my favorite lounges that's located in the Fremont East section, and it's right on Las Vegas Boulevard and Fremont Street. You'll see it right on the brick wall and just look for the martini sign at the top. So I love this place because it's very intimate and has kind of like speakeasy vibes. And in case you didn't know, it is kind of like two bars in one. There's a downtown cocktail room, which is where we're at right now, and then off to the side they have Mike Morris. So they're only open from Tuesdays to Saturdays, and they have a really good happy hour. So from that Tuesday to Saturday, it's gonna be from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., and that's gonna include a $10 happy hour cocktails, half off beer, wine, punch bowls, well drinks, and nosh. And they're always switching up their cocktails, so they're always seasonal. Now you guys know I'm never gonna say no to showing off cocktails. So I went ahead and got two of their signature cocktails. Again, these are more of the seasonal ones. So the first one was a French Pop 2.0, and that was the one that they lit on fire, and it has vodka, ginger, orange simple, lemon juice, and orange bitters. Usually $14, but $10 during happy hour. Oh my God, that one is so good. Definitely makes your mouth water because it's so citrusy. And then this one right here is a red wedding. So this one was for sure fun to watch them make, but I think this is gonna be fun to drink. This is gonna have chacho, bitters, lime juice, aquafaba, guava, nutmeg syrup, and cream soda. And then these things are here, red chili threads. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna be spicy. Ooh, no, it smells like chili for sure. That's definitely a chili drink. It's not like a has type of spicy, but you can definitely taste all those different chili flavors. I'm gonna have one. Not gonna lie, it's a little spicy. So I definitely think that this is a great place just to come have some cocktails and have like a low key chill time. And then every night when they are open, so the Tuesday to Saturday, at 9 p.m. they do have a DJ that comes in every night. So between that fire tonight, it's gonna be more chill. And then once nine o'clock hits, that's when the party starts. Cheers. Now, thankfully, the downtown area has expanded over time. And a place that I do think is worth it that you should come and check out is the Fremont East area. It's just full of great restaurants, including one of my favorite spots, La Mona Rosa, which has a great brunch. And it has so many bars, which I think this is the best place to come and bar hop. This one's my favorite right here. Don't let the word get out, guys. And you can even walk further down to Container Park for a lot more options. And one of the newest additions to Fremont East is this place right here called Sorry Not Sorry. Their original location is over on Flamingo and the 215, and that place always has lines out the door. They have so many different flavors. So at this location, they have eight flavors that are always rotating. So you always gotta come back and try a new one. What's pretty cool is that they also have vegan options and gluten-free options. We're gonna get a single scoop. Can I get the ube on the cone? Yay, ah, oh, cute! Thank you, Vince. All right, guys, I got their ube honeycomb. Mmm, it smells so good. Look how pretty it is, it's purple. Mmm, what do you guys do? Do you lick your ice cream or do you bite it like me? That's how you get it all over your nose. I am not a huge sweets person, but this is so good. If you guys ever do feel like venturing off and checking out their original location over in the west side of Las Vegas, they have so many more flavors. Everything there is like super good. It's no wonder that they have lines every single time. My personal favorite is their honey lavender and it's also purple ice cream. Maybe I just like the color of purple, obviously. <laughs> and then fun fact, in case you didn't know, Drew, the guy who runs the Unlocked page, this is his. He's come out on the channel before for sure. Uh, uh. You guys gotta come try this. But now I'm gonna take you to the other side of Fremont Street and show you something else that's new. So 
now we're located at the very beginning of Fremont Street at the Plaza Hotel and Casino. They've been having so many new additions and even renovations both on the inside and on the outside of the hotel. They just added a patio at Oscar Steakhouse, so you can enjoy the views from out there now. They have a Sand Dollar, which is one of the oldest bars in Las Vegas with its oldest location over by Spring Mountain. It's a really fun place to be and they're really good at decorating it depending on the season. They even have a brand new pink box donuts, which has some of the most elaborate and animated donuts I've ever seen. But his most outstanding piece is the carousel bar. This used to be their valet and it was converted into an outdoor cocktail bar unlike any other. They have handmade cocktails, shareable drinks, and a premium selection of beer and wine. And of course, they have a really cool carousel design along with horses that move up and down, lights that rotate, and other Vegas decor. It's the cocktail time. So there's a few cocktails I want to show you guys. The first one is the Money in the Bank. That one's going to have tequila, Aperol, pineapple, lime, and Mike's hot honey. And it also comes with an edible $100 bill. Ooh, that's both strong, sweet, and a little spicy too. Mm. Oh my god, you get a lot of pineapple and a lot of spiciness in here. Wow. Let's try their dollar bill. <laughs> Live so good, you eat money. That's fun. This is a fun little touch. Now, even though it is getting colder here in Las Vegas, um, you don't have to act like it. This is one of their signature ones. It's a Carousel Grand Pineapple. It has a Captain Morgan spiced rum, Grand Marnier, and a Pina Colada. Oh my god, that's so much rum. Is it summer yet? So of course, coming to downtown can be a grand old time, but there's still some cautions that I would be wary of. The area surrounding downtown is honestly not the nicest, so I wouldn't stray too far. Like even walking from here over to the Nian Museum is not something that I would recommend. Even though yes, the Nian Museum is very beautiful and it's something you should check out, just that little area between both locations is not worth the walk. Please drive, take an Uber taxi, just don't walk it. And overall, just kind of stay in the area, stay in the touristy places, stay in the crowded areas. Definitely don't stray off or go into any dark alleys. You gotta stay safe, people. But yeah, if it was me and I was a tourist that would come here on the regular, I would at least come and stay downtown at least once. Always something fun to do. So as always, guys, please make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your friends, and comment below. Tell me what's your favorite thing about downtown. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. So literally just block. What? Block. <laughs> But I wanted to specifically show you these rooms because these are gonna be located in their grand, no, shit, gallery. Viva Vision itself is turned on, okay. Oh shit. And, dang it. <laughs> and always keep her, not, uh, and always keep her eye out, uh, and always keep her eye out, um, uh, come on. And from the oldest hotel to the, uh, and then this one right here is gonna be the,